In this question, we have to, before we start getting into numbers, we have to talk about variables. And this question, a seed is planted, it has a 65% chance of growing into a healthy plant. <clears throat> if 110 randomly selected seeds are planted, answer the following. What's the correct wording for the random variable? So this is section 4.3 in the book, so I have that open right here. And let's see, fixed number of trials. Think of the trials as repetitions of experiment. The letter N denotes the number of trials. All right, so that's not this random variable part yet. We'll get to that. Pick the correct symbol. So what is 110 referring to? 110 randomly selected seeds are planted. So that's the number of trials. 110 is the number of trials, and we're using the letter N for that. So this first one, and it's little n, right there. All right, what's 0.65? So remember, 0.65 is 65%. So that's right there in the problem. It's the chance of growing into a healthy plant. And I believe that's the success probability. P is a probability of success in one trial. So that's what 0.65 is. The complement of that, one minus that, is going to be Q, but I don't think this question asks the probability of failure. All right, let's go ahead and read about the random variable now, because that's what uh, this first part A is referring to. Random variable X is the number of successes obtained in N independent trials. So for us, we had 110 independent trials. And X is the probability of uh, the number of successes. So again, I have it highlighted here. I'll go ahead. Oh, that didn't work so well. There we go. Okay. So I'm trying to pick the one that's most closely resembling what's highlighted in purple. So it's not a, random, a single randomly selected seed, it's not that. The number of 110 randomly selected seeds that grow into a healthy plant, uh, that is closest to this purple. Uh, I'll just read the rest of them. It's not all the seeds, no. That's uh, little n is all the seeds. Or, that's It is all the seeds, but it's not all the seeds overall. It's all of the 110. So it's, it's close to this one right here, but not quite. It's only out of 110 randomly selected. Uh, so we'll just go with this one. I'm going to go and hit submit right now. Make sure we're doing OK. OK. Now we're into the number parts. What's the probability exactly 70 grow to a healthy plant? All right, so now we're going to run over to Excel. I have the first column will be X. That's the number of successes and probability of the success. It's going to be a, a function we need to use to compute this probability. The function's name is binome.dist. And we need to label a few variables here to make this easy. So first thing we have N. Now, N is what we call it in statistics in the textbook. Inside Excel, it's called trials. And I'll put the value here for my problem. We're doing 110 trials. So the value is 110. Now, let's go ahead and type in binome.dist, I'm double clicking it, and number s, and that's the number of successes. So let's just write down what that is. Uh, we also have trials, which I just labeled, and probability of success. The underscore s means success. So underscore s means success. All right, uh, we have our probability of success. Probability of underscore S, probability of success. That for me is 0.65. 
All right, so we got our number of trials, probability of success. I now need to make the uh, expected, the, the number of successes here. Oops. So this is just increasing. All right, I need to go from zero all the way. So it could be zero seeds uh, going all the way uh, up through 110. So I need all outcomes here. So highlight these. I want to duplicate this down to 110. So it's the black plus I'm dragging. It's probably hard to see, but that little number there says 14, 15. If you drag it off the bottom, it'll increase. Drag it a little more, it increases faster. I'm looking for 110. If you drag it further, it goes really quick. So just be careful. Uh, so I'm finally at 110 here. And you should have all the values. You may not have 110, whatever your number of randomly selected seeds is. That's how far you're going. All right, I have to scroll up pretty far. So I'm ready for the bino dist. So I'm, again, double clicking. All right, number of successes. That's the X right next to it. So for me is A2, comma, number of trials. For me is 110, this cell right here. Now, when I duplicate this formula, I want the number of trials to stay where it is. So I need to go over here. I click there and putting a dollar sign so that does not move. Now I'm going to go comma, probability of a success. That's this 0.65. And again, I want this to not move. So I'm clicking, putting a dollar sign. Now another comma. All right, cumulative. I'm going with false here. I'm going to add up uh, using Excel. So I'm going to type false. Make sure you spell it correctly. Excel's not that bright. If you just uh, spell it incorrectly, it won't know what you're talking about. All right, this number number's tiny right here. Again, just double check you have your dollar signs here so your trials and your probability are not moving. And then A2 does not get the dollar sign because I want that to shift down as I duplicate this formula. All right, I'll just duplicate it once to make sure things stay where they are. And I double clicked it, looks good to go. Those are where I want them to be. Now you can just click on the lower right, the plus here, and drag it down. I'm going to undo this. I learned something cool. If you double left click, Excel's somewhat smart. It will duplicate this down for you automatically. I'll just double click on this uh, 84, just making sure I get the right uh, A86 right here to get that value. And then these two. I'll scroll up, make sure, yes, they're where I want them to be. All right, so everything looks good. And we're ready to start answering questions finally. All right, part D, probability exactly 70 grow into a healthy plan. So exactly 70, I'm looking for the X value of 70. Here's probability of 70, round to four decimal places. So let's go ahead and I'll just round this Oops, that's not what I wanted. I'll just type it. No copy paste. That won't work here. All right. So again, I'm looking at this one here. I'll bold it. All right. This rounds down because there's a two coming up next. And let's go submit. Make sure we're okay. All right. All right. Next one, probability less than 70. All right. So I want this and everything above it added together. So I'm going to left click drag up here. I want to sum all of these. So I'm just typing in the label, although I miss that should be a less than sign. I'll fix that in a minute. All right, I'm going to now highlight everything from all the probabilities from zero 
270 including 70. Enter. All right. So for me, that was B2 to B72 right there. Remember, the row number is uh, slightly off from the X value. All right, so that looks good. Enter. You can scroll way out. It might be a reasonable way to, obviously you can't type at this, uh, but you can see what's highlighted here at least. All right. 0.417, this rounds up, 0.4171. Ooh, all right, where did I go wrong? I read the question incorrectly. All right, so what I computed is what I typed, but what I actually want, I'm going to copy these and paste these down. The question says less than 70, not less than or equal to. So let's edit this sum, like mine shifted, because I copied and pasted it. All right, so I do not want to include 70. So I'm going to go down here to the bottom. This goes... I do not want to include 70, so I'm going only through 69 right there, not 70. And then enter. All right, that's the value I should be using. All right, it was less than 70, not less than or equal to. This rounds up, 3417. All right, excellent. There's another way to do this uh, without using the sum. I'm going to copy this, uh, paste it into here, and edit it. Obviously, this needs to shift over. That needs to shift over. The B2 needs to shift over. So it's the bino dist. Everything's the same as it was in column B. I'm just going to put true here instead. This is cumulative, so this does the additions for us. And again, double click here, it'll duplicate it down. And if I go down to 70 here, or 69, that number is right here. All right, part F, more than 70 grow into a healthy plant. All right, we have to do some subtraction here, more than 70. So not equal to 70, but more than 70. Oops, I should not put the equals at the beginning. Probability x greater than 70. All right, a few ways to do this. If we use the sum method, more than 70. So I need to use column B here. So I'm going to go from B73, and I want to go all the way to the bottom. So I'm dragging the lower corner with that double arrow. And I'm going to the end here. All right, enter. So again, I have the sum. And if I zoom this out, I think you can see it better. Double click it. It's everything from 71 to 110. That's x greater than 70. There's another way to do this. And I have up here, x is less than 70 right here, I could do the opposite, less than or equal to 70 is the opposite of more than 70. So this number is the opposite of more than 70. So I could go with one minus that value. So that's 0.5829, or I have 0.5829, two ways to get it. And that is already rounded. All right, so part G, exactly 73. So that number is sitting right here in the table. Grab that, uh, less than 73. So 
not equal to 73, but everything above this number. So I could add this and everything above it and sum it all together. Or I can just grab the cumulative right here. So that would be 0.5754. Now let me just go and make that bold. All right, oops. Yeah, that one, and I use that one, and five, four, all right. Syntax incomplete, oh, must have hit a key on the keyboard, all right. Oh, at least, wow, read that one wrong again. At least 73. At least 73, 73 or more. So it's going to be 1 minus the value I have highlighted here. So this one's greater than or equal to 73. So it could be 1 minus probability x less than 73. All right, so that's one minus. I'm gonna use the cumulative probability. So X is less than 73, not equal to 73, but less than 73 is this value here, 72 or less. So I can put that in here. All right, again, the other way to do that, probability that uh, x is greater than or equal to 73, I could also use the sum. So equal to 73, now I'm using column B, equal to 73 and everything below this. So use that diagonal arrow, drag this down, I went a little too far. Right there, all right, enter. All right, should be the same number. All right, last one, part I, probability at most 73. So at most means 73 is okay, or anything less than 73. So 73 is okay and anything less. Let's just grab the cumulative probability. If you wanna do a sum, you would add everything 73 and above, uh, but I'm just gonna grab this cumulative probability right there. Oh, and I totally forgot what I had highlighted. All right, I'll make that bold. Six five two one. All right, there we go. Uh, I did leave this one out uh, exactly seventy three, so it's just this zero seven six seven rounds down and submit. All right, excellent. This was a tricky question. Good job sticking through it uh, to the end.